Okay, today guys, we're working on a John Deere 4730 sprayer with a Trimble TMX with Field IQ system. Um, we're gonna Today we're going to show you how to open up and run in diagnostics. Say you needed to flush the machine out or anything of that nature. So uh, we'll start by cranking the machine first. And we have this one wired directly to key to ignition. So it will start up as soon as uh, the machine is, is cranked and everything is operating. So we'll wait for the display to come up. A couple things to note while this is booting up is in the John Deere 4730s, they have this rate switch here. This is a John Deere switch. Always remember to leave the spray rate in manual mode, not one, two, three, or auxiliary. So for us, for Trimble to operate or for Field IQ to operate, it must be in manual mode always. And of course your section switches over here, one through seven, always need to be in the up position as if you were gonna spray. If you needed to turn one section off manually or otherwise, then you would always just flip them off just like that for whatever section you would be using. So this is the off position and then up, of course, is the on position. Now once you uh, are in the machine and everything is running, everything is started up, um, we're ready to actually start operating and getting the machine ready to, to run in field IQ mode. So first thing we need to do, again, is make sure that this is in your manual mode. And then down here on your armrest console, you have your solution pump and your sparge valve. So you're gonna flip the sparge valve on and then you're gonna flip your solution pump on. And on your joystick right here, you have a manual spray button. This needs to be depressed and you should see it turn somewhat green there. That's off. And then that is on. So you wanna make sure that that's in the, is lit up green and is in operational mode. And then we can turn our attention back to our display, our TMX and our field IQ. So we're gonna be running this in FMX plus mode. So we'll go ahead and select that. And for the operator that's gonna be running this machine, he's gonna be a, a Spanish speaking operator. So we're gonna go in here and, well actually it's already set up for him to, when you select his name, uh, which is Jose Rojos, you'll see here in a second, um, it's gonna put the, the display in Spanish. So that that's key for, for the operator to, to be able to see how, to see what these buttons do. I'm going to talk about it in English because of course I don't speak Spanish um, or read in Spanish. So once you select the operator, it'll come up to your FMX Plus screen. And from here again, we're wanting to, and this machine is equipped with autopilot, so you'll scroll down and hit OK and accept. Um, so for what we're wanting to do today, we're wanting to just make sure that the machine is operating and can operate when we go to the field. So we're gonna go to our uh, wrench and screwdriver here, configuration. And on our configuration page, we're gonna highlight field IQ. And once we highlight field IQ and turn it blue, you see diagnostics over here on the, the right-hand side, the third button down, and you hit that. And here we have our, our field IQ diagnostic screen. And again, we're just wanting to make sure everything is operating. We want to make sure that, that uh, the machine is ready to go to the field. So this would be for a manual flush operation or just for diagnostic purposes. So this is where we're gonna spend the most of our time here. Okay, this is your actual target speed. So we're gonna hit that and we would just wanna put in a certain speed and just make sure that it operates there. We'll choose eight miles an hour for 15 gallons to the acre. Now here, the machine is ready to spray other than these are still red and these buttons across the top of the screen, which is our sections, are numbers two through eight, which are really one through seven. So we need to depress those and turn them white. And once you have those white, they're ready to actually spray. So if we were to flip our switch on, as you see, they turn green. Now. One of the key things you need to remember on a John Deere 4730 sprayer that's equipped with Field IQ, you need to arm the pump, and that's what this Bomba de Mano is saying, is to arm the pump. And when you arm the pump, when you flip on your switches, they turn green, and you look outside, and we're actually spraying. 
So as long as these this boom section right here across the bottom is green, we should be outputting water. If you're not outputting water and they're green, make sure you go ahead and turn everything off because it could be your solution pump is either not on or active or either you uh, have no water and you don't want to run your pump dry. So again, today this is our, our manual flush or diagnostic testing purposes before we go to the field, running field IQ in diagnostic mode. Um, again, thank you for watching and I hope this helps.